Today is the opening day for 2017 Turkey out here in Colorado. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. along the South Platte River here in Colorado. Um, just got to our spot and we're gonna hike in. Let's do it. We think we know where they're coming from and we're gonna set up in between where they like to roost and where they like to feed. We got turkeys off in this direction over here. Harlan is sitting directly to my left. We're just sitting in a group of trees right in the river bottom out here. I'm gonna wait to start calling until it's a little better lighting for the camera. I see him, I see him. Where? They're running out of the tree. They're just unroosting. You see them? You see them in the tree? They're, they're dropping out of the tree. Just look straight in between those two trees. Dude, there's so many. I think they saw us. You think? I don't know if they... It was hard for me to get the camera set up. They might have saw me. I know. I don't know if they liked the decoys. Because they got close enough and then I think they... They were kind of looking at them and they left. We, uh... Might have been spotted. They ran off. All the turkeys are down by the river. They can't see us right now. So we're going to move closer to them. I got these turkey decoys. Um... Off Amazon. These... What they call it a Montana decoys and I didn't know they were silhouettes so I'm kind of pissed off they suck if we don't get one in a couple hours we're gonna go to Cabela's and just get a freaking nice 3d decoy little update for you guys we called in two toms now oh, they were pretty big too and called them in they walked a good 150 yards and they were within about 70 of us about 70 yards they saw something they didn't like and or heard. My calling price sucked, I don't know. We've got five birds uh, south of us. They're about 300, 400 yards out. Um, two big toms in there, so trying to play play it safe here. We've been calling at them, but... Huh? They're making it ringing. Oh, they're moving. All of them are. All five. Where's my call? Oh, they're coming this way, man. Are they? He's just kind of v-lined to the property next to us. They're in the thick woods right now. I don't know. We need we need a better decoy. These things suck. Freaking silhouettes. I don't even think they saw them. No. There's no way they saw those hands. Hen's getting a little action on the uh, the tom. You don't see that too often, folks. <laughs> we got some new decoys. A lot better. They are 3D, not freaking silhouettes. Thinking this is the key. The birds see our decoys. Oop, gooch. Here's our blind for the evening hunt. We're gonna camo it up now. Right. 
All right, just set up our blind. It's all camouflaged. We tucked it under this tree, so the trees. I'm walking out here to see what it looks like from the distance I think the turkeys are coming from. So the decoys are there, and we got our blind right here. Kind of blends in good with those trees. I don't know, it does stick out a little bit, but what can you do? All right, guys, tip of the day. Chick-fil-A and the turkey blind. Get the barbecue in there, you eat it. And the blind, it always brings good luck for turkey hunting. Hits a spot. Shout out to Chick-fil-A. I'd love some. Well, folks, this is turkey hunting. Sitting in a blind with your buddy who's taking a nap. Just waiting for some turkeys, big ones. We want Tom's, not a big fan of Jake's. Never liked the name Jake. Definitely like the name Tom. <laughs> Jake from State Farm, I ain't, I ain't messing with him today. We going for Tom any time now. Maybe I should get some calls out yonder. Tom, is it? Three o'clock. No gobbles. For those of you that don't turkey hunt, what you're looking to do is you call and you want to you want to locate them. I and mean, usually when you get a when you get an active tom out there, they gobble back, and that's what you're listening for. So you call, you know, every couple minutes, give it a give it a couple chirps. You don't want to overcall though. <clears throat> Sometimes you just gotta wait. But uh, every once in a while you send a call out there, see if you get a gobble back. And you keep going. If you get a gobble, you just keep going. You know, a little more, a little more active with the call if you're hear, hearing gobbles. Because what that means is, you got a tom out there, and he's looking for his hens. Especially this time of year, he's looking for his hens to breed. Just a lonesome hen. Let's see if we can call it in. Flaring up is big. 